Renex Snack and Food Review for life. It's too short to be serious. Now, again, I'm in a rush to get this done. Um, it is getting dark outside, and I just need to get this done so you can see what I'm eating. All right, so Habit Burger has a new steak sandwich that I tried. You should go watch that review. And they brought back their Impossible Burger in two variants. You've got the original, which I will be trying, and then you've got one with aged cheddar, which I will not be trying. I've had their burger before, their OG burger. I think I thought it was pretty good, um, especially, you know, compared to a lot of fast food burgers. But now we're here with a non-meat beef patty. So, yeah, the Impossible Burger beef patty. Um, some places use Beyond Meat. Other places use Impossible. You know, you got Burger King right down the road from this Habit Burger who uses an Impossible patty. Um, but of course, theirs is kind of specified to taste like that char grilled Whopper patty. And it pretty much is right on the money. We're going to see how this tastes. I have good hopes, high hopes. I just think they do their stuff pretty good to amazing. And, uh, you know, we're going to see. So. Here is our burger. Let's go ahead and, well, you know, our impossible burger. Let's see if I can. All right, that's good enough. So we're not gonna eat this whole thing because, you know, it's, I don't need to eat a whole burger, but we're gonna eat just enough for me to tell you what I think. And this thing is dripping too. I just have everything dripping on me tonight, so. Be careful when you eat Habit Burger, kind of hold it over a plate or something, because it just drips from that fresh, juicy pile of vegetables. You know when something's dripping. Usually it means it's fresh. So here we go. Oh, please like, comment, share this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack and Food. Bottoms up. You know, usually these things make a seamless transition. Like, I'm like, oh, wow, that's great. That does a great job, you know? But this is shockingly disappointing. Like, it just doesn't make that transition to tasting as good as the legit Habit Burger that they have. Now, is it up to par to, like, some more mediocre fast food chains? I'd say so. But this definitely, you can tell there's just something off. And typically, I, as I've said, I've most of the time, I love the Beyond or the Impossible or the Incognito. I love it all. It's always pretty spot on. And you would have a hard time telling if there's anything different about it. But here it's just something's missing. And again, I think the ingredients are pretty fresh. But I just don't think it's all there. I don't know. Now, this has been around before, so I'm just wondering, if anyone's out there, have you ever tried it? And did you like it a lot? Because I think this is just okay. And again, I've had their OG burger, and I thought that was actually pretty daggone good. It has got a little bit better the more I eat it. I didn't even call it quits there. But, I don't know, it just doesn't inspire a lot of joy or excitement from me, like... I just think it's okay. Um, and for that, I'm gonna have to say it's like a six, maybe. Um, I think it just, it does a fair job. It doesn't, you know, scream anything that says I'm not a burger by any means, but it doesn't scream I'm a fantastic burger. Like, it's nowhere close, in my opinion, to the regular burger that they have. 
that uses real beef. I just, I don't think it meets that. Um, yeah, it's just, it's not fantastic. So, that way, don't prefer it by any means, but it tastes okay. I mean, a six out of 10 is fine. Like, you gotta think about it. The people who want this are typically ones who can't eat meat for whatever reason. Um, so, I mean, it, it does its job there. I mean, it's serviceable. So, you know, it's not something I would recommend against. And it's not something I would be thrilled to recommend for, but, you know, if you like Habit Burger, you want their fries or their fried green beans or anything like that, or you're going with a friend, you're a vegan, say you want to go on a date or you're like vegetarian maybe and you just want to go on a date here, you know, um, and your, your boyfriend or your girlfriend, your significant other isn't, you know, vegan or vegetarian. Uh, I, I think this is a pretty chill spot, you know, but it's just not something inspiring. It's not something amazing. And, you know, I've, you know, it's not a lot of times where I can say, whoa, you know, something I've tried is not, you know, a seven or higher. Typically that's where things range. Um, but sometimes, you know, that you do have things that kind of fall below and aren't quite as good. So that's what we have here. Uh, well, yeah, that's what we have here. It's a six out of 10. It's fine. But again, I'm not going to say you're going to love it. So, you know, that's, that's it. That's my review. It's, it's serviceable, but it just doesn't really compare well with their normal burger. So that's it. I'm sticking to that. Hopefully, I'll see y'all around. If I don't, well, gonna miss ya. All right, that's it. Peace.